Well, here we are in the middle of the vineyard in our dormant period. It is uh, midwinter. It is nice and cold. It's about four degrees outside, and uh, the vines are now in their, in their dormant seat. And it is uh, this time that uh, the the pruning is being done, and the the pruning consists in removing last year's growth and leaving behind the number of buds which will determine uh, the not only the number of shoots but to an extent the production next year. This decision is an individual decision vine by vine where we take into account the vigour of each vine which is determined uh, by a number of factors. It's determined by the previous season and uh, here we are having followed on from a very dry, um, a very low vigour season. So then the pruner will opt uh, to leave a fewer number of buds in order that the next season the vine will be able to um, feed all of the shoots and the production next year. Now uh, this vigour will also vary from one vineyard location to another uh, and the different fertility of the soil. So it is very much a decision, a very important decision, that's in the hand of the pruners and, uh, uh, and it's a key factor in guaranteeing the quality of our port. When we're pruning, there are essentially two types of pruning, which is cane pruning and spur pruning. Here we have a vine which is uh, being cane pruned, where we will uh, essentially leave a two node spur and then we will leave uh, a cane. The cane will determine the production uh, for next year and the spur uh, that we leave behind will, will also be there to uh, uh, it will be the wood for next year's cane. So here you see the small spur which is being left behind and uh, from here we will get two shoots and the cane where the majority of the production will come from. With this line we have left a spur and a cane and the second cane for the second spur. This then will be tied down, which is one of the operations that we have during the dormancy period.